Ever since I got into cars, I've had a number of different models I've wanted to drive. However, there's been one car on my bucket list that I surprisingly haven't gotten the keys to yet. That is, until today. In today's episode, I get to go up close and personal with a brand new Mazda MX-5. Spoiler alert, it's fantastic. The 90s were a booming time for Japanese cars. We were getting to see some of our coolest creations from our favorite manufacturers for the first time. The Mark IV Supra, the FDR X7, the Honda NSX, and how could anyone forget the Mazda MX-5 Miata. A car that would cement its status as an affordable, fun, sporty coupe that nearly everyone on the planet could appreciate. And believe it or not, I've only gotten to shoot a Miata once. So today, thanks to my friend Andy, I get to take this MX-5 for a little spin. <laughs> sure ain't fast, but man, it is fun. In my opinion, there really can't be a more perfect combination for an attainable sports car. Front engine four-cylinder, rear-wheel drive, and even in the latest models, the option of a six-speed manual or a six-speed automatic with gear control. And that's not even mentioning the convertible top. In all the cars that I've driven, nothing feels as easy to drive as a Miata does. The, the steering wheel, the throttle response, the, even the automatic gear shift, like, this thing is just so simple and so fun. And because it's easy to drive, it's, it's unparalleled. I absolutely adore it. In 2024, a sports car is usually bigger, heavier, and granted, a lot of them have good horsepower numbers, not everyone has the time and money to spend going to a racetrack every weekend. Some people just want a car that's quick and easy to rip on without the fear of blowing it up and voiding your warranty because you're driving over 85 miles an hour. I'm looking at you, Toyota. Now from personal experience, I don't know if I would ever buy one of these cars. My, uh, my taste in cars is a little bit different than a Miata, but man, if there's one thing I can do, it is appreciate a very fun car. Oh yeah! This thing scoots in a corner though. Coming from someone who's done like autocross before, this thing would be an absolute unit on a short track. You could scare some big dogs in some big cars if you knew how to drive one of these things. Even in today's car market, where Toyota Tacomas have a dealership markup of 50 grand or higher, an MX-5 breaches the gap to the consumers and offers everything that makes a sports car fun in a package that's a fraction of the cost. I haven't even talked about like the comfort of the interior yet. These fabric seats are absolutely insane. They're so, it feels like I'm sitting on a couch. They're comfy, but they're also rigid enough around your ribs that you're able to stay stationary when you're in a corner. This thing is next level, dude. 
In all the cars I've driven, this one is definitely one to remember. For something that's light and nimble, but torquey and punchy, I could have the summer of a lifetime driving one of these things. Who knows? Maybe I'll have to rent this car from Andy sometime. <laughs> Bro, this car is wild. It's way more fun than it looks. <laughs> Miata is always the answer.